you mentioned in your talks that you had a background in mathematics and the logical apparatus of math wasn't producing hmm. meaningful products for you anymore and this led you into film. Could you detail a little bit about your mathematical background hmm. and um, what, I mean, was, was there a moment when you just put down the pencil and picked up a camera or uh, could you detail a little bit that transition? Yeah. Where, where were you? What were you studying? How many years? I was studying mathematics at City College in New York. And uh, I had been a math, I guess a kind of a math prodigy. I was into calculus in uh, you know, fifth grade or something. And uh, was studying what was called algebraic topology, which was kind of the study of the abstract properties of space. And I um, was having some trouble. I mean, I was able to prove certain things, but no longer had any real grasp of the sort of the tangibility of what it is I was proving it had become in, in mathematics you build these sort of hierarchical s structures of meaning you you create certain terms you play with those terms you use those terms to create even more abstract terms and it just keeps going up and unless you're really it's very hard to stay grounded I guess or at least it was for me at the time and around the same time I guess it was my sophomore year of college I went to a series of lectures it was actually a birthday present my parents had given me series of lectures at the Museum of Modern Art given by a guy named Slavko Vorkovich, who was this Hollywood editor uh, who specialized in montage at the time. And he gave this series of lectures, there were 10 lectures, quite well attended, uh, on I guess what you would call sort of the formal properties of the medium. He was talking about what film did to space and time, how it re-articulated space and time. I was very intrigued by it because it seemed to offer a kind of a tangible way of playing with abstract concepts. I mean, I saw film as a kind of intersection of the abstract and the concrete. So I, I made a film as a sophomore. It was a totally hokey film. I never show it. Uh, kind of a fantasy, a little narrative fantasy. But it got me interested in film, and I saw myself coming to a kind of dead end in math. I didn't really sense I was going to be able to make any creative contribution, and the prospect of being simply a kind of a functionary in the world of math, I mean, either teaching it or just kind of regurgitating it, didn't really appeal to me. And so I applied and got in graduate school on the basis of this film I had made. I went to a lot of films. Um, I was not at that point familiar with any of the experimental work being done. Uh, that didn't happen really until quite a bit later. Went to graduate school, uh, did not really find that to my liking. They were interested in a much more conventional kind of filmmaking, uh, which returned to New York, uh, where I hung out with a lot of musicians. And I hung out with a guy named Ramsey Amin, who now I think sells insurance in New Jersey somewhere, but at the time he was hanging out with um, a lot of interesting jazz types. And Amin had been familiar with Brackage's work. I, I only realized this recently. So sort of indirectly I had been influenced by some of the things Brackage had done through this guy Amin and began fooling around in a much more experimental way with film. I had dropped out of graduate school and just began making my own work.